They're having difficulty selling. Yeah. The house has been on the market for three weeks now. It's a bit of a mess, guys. What on God's green earth is this? This is totally focusing all my attention. Is that a potty on the table? It's overcome with baby stuff. Unless Stuart and Shannon take their heads out of the sand, this house is not going to get sold. Selling your house can be stressful and time-consuming, so obviously the faster you sell it, the better. If you present your house right, you can sell it quickly and for top dollar. Shannon and Stewart's two-storey semi-detached house is listed at $460,000, and it was all this family of three needed until the stork came along with a little surprise called Oliver. Already, Shannon and Stuart realize that this house can't comfortably accommodate the four of them. So now it's hasta la vista, baby, to this house, and time to find a bigger one. And that's why we're here, to turn this house from unsellable to sold. We moved into this house six years ago. It was right on the park, so you couldn't beat the location. Uh, it's got three grocery stores in a five or 10 minute walk. I work at home, and when the baby came, it displaced my office. Now I'm working in the middle of the house. We're just being pushed out of the house with baby equipment. The house has been on the market for about three weeks now. It hasn't had any offers. So it's a little frustrating. This two-story, three-bedroom house is ideally located close to shops, buses, and subway services. Now, this area has gone through a process of gentrification, and that has sent prices and sales up. Well, except in Shannon and Stewart's case. Sophie, nice to meet Thanks, you. Sure. Hi. Wow. You could roll out of bed and have a picnic in the park, which makes me a bit surprised that you're having difficulty selling. Is your garbage always here? It's a catch-all for... All yeah. our stuff. This is people's first impression. It's a bit of a mess, guys. Anyway, let's go and see the rest of the house. All right. This is a really lovely room. You've got wainscoting, you've got beautiful wooden floors. What on God's green earth is this? That is a baby play. It's like a baby tank. It is? Yes, it is. This is totally focusing all my attention. I mean, the fireplace, people love them. I can't see it yeah, from here. Yeah, it's true. It's totally obscured. Should we go through to the tiny room? <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> I've never seen the two windows there before. It's a really great feature. But I'm distracted by the... Uh, is that a potty on the table? No, it's a seat. Well, I don't know that because I don't have kids. And a lot <laughs> oh, of people yeah. who don't have kids will also just assume that there's a potty on the dining room table. You know, it does look exactly like a potty. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. <laughs> yeah. So what is this doing here? That is my office. Well, is there nowhere else to work? I used to work at the back of the house, but with Shannon on maternity leave with Oliver, I had to find a, a second location. Should you go and have a look at the kitchen? Okay. Yeah. I love the way all the period details continue into the kitchen. I think the old icebox, that cabinet, and the, the island, it's, it's a bit too much stuff at the moment. I think I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. So this is your office slash playroom. Yes, now it's more of a playroom than an <laughs> office. I just did not know that kids needed this amount of stuff. Again, such a wonderful room. I love the way you've got a big window out into your garden. You've got decking, it's lovely. You've got storage. This is a real selling feature because it's an extra room that a lot of houses don't have. It's very handily situated off the kitchen. I really want to go and have a look upstairs. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. I love the wainscoting, the way it continues all the way up the stairs. Whoa. This is uh, our teenage daughter's room. Yeah. It's not the biggest room, so maybe this amount of stuff makes it look a bit smaller. It's like I need sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bright. I know you <laughs> like it, but um, <laughs> I might have to go. OK. Really lovely bright room. I feel like I'm a bit like I'm on the hippie trail. <laughs> like, <Sure. laughs> like, yeah. I like the theme, but maybe it's a little less. <laughs> so these are kind of your chest of drawers, stroke night tables. Yeah, we thought they were a little smaller when we bought them. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like you've had a bit of an accident with the measuring tape. <laughs> we absolutely yeah. did. Well, should we go downstairs and have a bit of a chat? OK. Sure. Brilliant. 
This house has stacks of charm, but unless Stuart and Shannon take their heads out of the sand and heed our advice, it's not going to get sold. Because all the baby equipment, the computers, the oversized furniture, it's all preventing people seeing how beautiful the old bones of this house are. I think this is a fantastic house, so it should have sold like that. We were expecting to sell it the first week. First of all, the porch area. You've got recycling boots and clothes and rubbish everywhere. So that's the first negative. And then you come into an incredibly beautiful room, and the first thing you see is a huge baby-changing unit. Yeah. And it's sucking up all the focus. I love the style of this house. But I think just okay. maybe try and make it a, a little less bohemian. A little more generic. A little bit more generic. The dining room that huge computer and the potty chair. <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with viewings? We haven't been as flexible as I think we need to be. The more people you get through the front door, the more likely it is you will get a quick sale. OK. And then hopefully this whole horrible process will all be over <laughs> and you yeah. can get back to your normal life. Baby Oliver is the centre of this family's attention. Unfortunately, the baby equipment and clutter is the focus of potential buyers' attention. They're just not getting to see how great this house really is. So I'm off to meet Mary Ann, the realtor, to see if she agrees with me. Mary Ann, this seems to me a pretty perfect location for a house. It's competitively priced and it has a lot of charm. At that price level, we're looking at another young family, first time buyers. I would have thought this house would have sold within a week. As you can see inside, it's full. It's like overcome with baby stuff and stuff that has taken over their lives. I love their style, but it is quite bohemian. People don't buy bohemian. You know, they, they, they want to renovate Bohemian. What have you done marketing? Have you taken photos of the inside of the house or...? Obviously, when you put uh, photos onto your listing, you like to have it in perfect condition. That was not possible. And since we're so internet-based in our marketing strategies these days, people didn't have any idea of what you're looking at. It's been on the market for three weeks, and they haven't got any offers. So I think now they're willing to change. That's good news to me. I brought you to this house. It's similar to yours, but it shows really, really well, and I want you to take a look. OK. okay. Hey. It is smaller than your current house, but at the moment, it's showing better just because, well, ooh, look at that lovely coffee table. Uh, if I was in your house, all my attention would be focused on the ginormous baby-changing unit. Right. Yeah. It's similar because it's got peri the same period features and the hardwood floors. I think your house is that bit bigger and but anyway, come through to the dining room. Look how lovely and clear this table is. You can eat here. <laughs> Crazy talk. <laughs> <laughs> OK, should we go through to the kitchen? Yeah. I know what you're thinking. It's nice. <laughs> That's not what you're thinking, <laughs> Shannon. No, it is nice, but it's not comparable to your kitchen. You've got no. a much bigger kitchen with a lot of period details, but it kind of still proves the point. Even with a kitchen like this, Decluttering helps. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Upstairs, more of the same. The rooms are smaller, but the cleanliness and simple presentation allows their period features to really shine. This house has functionality, has a good flow, and I can see the features. Right. I also know that a family live here, so it's not convenient probably to keep it in this immaculate condition, but it's much better to go all out and keep it immaculate and have as many viewings as possible and get it sold as quick as possible. And I know it was successful because it sold for just under $20,000 more than yours and in seven days. Wow. Cleaning out Shannon and Stuart's baby junk is going to make a big difference, but we're still going to need a plan for what happens after that. So Anthony is the man with the ideas, so he's got the finer details. <laughs> yeah. In the front sunroom here, First thing we'll address is by building a bench seat, just an L-shaped bench seat that will act as seating and double for storage. And we'll paint out there a nice neutral color just to brighten it up. So it's going to look like a really chic mudroom. Yeah. Well, I notice you have a lot of really nice detail. The trim is really nice, but it's not actually standing out right now because everything is painted one color. Oh, yeah. So by painting the wainscoting and the chair rail, white to match the baseboard. It'll make it all pop out. That sounds like a really good I idea. I agree. And then going upstairs, the colors in the rooms 
or a little overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. So. That's such a polite way of putting it, Anthony. I like that. We just need to tone them down a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We've got one room left. I've got something special planned in there. I'm intrigued as to what your big thing is. Yeah? Well, I noticed that you had a lot of computer stuff just kicking around the house. It's true. So what I'm thinking is just taking this stuff out and actually building a work center. It will kill two birds with one stone. Exactly. We'll get the computer off the dining room table, so that will be the dining area. Okay. Then this will be Stuart's study. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, so this is Oliver. Yes. Hello, you. <laughs> what are you going to do with this fellow when people come round? Maybe get out and enjoy the nice warm weather. OK, monster, I'm going to go now. <laughs> bye bye. He's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> oh. A lot of stuff has been moved out. I think we filled a 10 by 10 locker so far. But the space looks bigger without all that stuff. The, the living room is looking a lot more open. It's potential. nice to see the return of, of our original house, and we're falling in love with it all over again. Whoa. You do not waste any time. No. And it's my new bench seat. It's going to double as storage. I'm going to put hinges on this actual lid, and you're going to be able to dump all the stuff in here. Oh, uh, genius. Yeah. And this is going to be the pillow thing. That'd be really nice. It'll add a bit of color, but also you'll still be able to sit down here and have a glass of wine in the exactly. evening. Exactly. It's really and nice of you. So, yeah. Genius. I was talking to Shannon and Stuart about depersonalizing, making their house a bit more generic. But I don't want it to turn into a showroom. So I'm keeping up some of their folk art because it's attractive and it adds a bit of personality. Wow. Carpenter extraordinaire this week. What's this called? Uh, well, this is just the tabletop for our work center. And these are individual boxes that I made up, and we're just going to attach them to the wall like this every so often. So this room now has a function, but also it looks much bigger than before. Yes, exactly. Brilliant. This house is really coming together. The wainscoting's been painted white, and it now pops out of the wall rather than being invisible. It's a proper feature now. And this room looks so much bigger now we've taken out all the clutter. No longer looks like a baby station, it actually looks like a sitting room. So I'm pleased with the work we've done so far. Functionality is an important factor when selling your house. In this house for sale in a similar neighborhood, the living room is actually smaller than Shannon and Stewart's, but the simple layout makes it feel very clean and inviting. This room has a specific purpose. It's a living room, not a playroom slash living room slash walk-in closet, with even a hint of eclectic styling. But in this case, it doesn't overpower the room. And the dining room, well, it's a dining room. A simple dining set and some nice artwork, it's all you need, easy peasy. Don't be afraid to splurge a bit on your new table and chairs. They'll help sell your house and you can take it with you when you move. The kitchen is a little on the small side, but it shows big because it's clean and clutter free. Lack of counter space is a common problem with smaller urban houses. So you've got to clear them off to show them off. This isn't rocket science, folks. Like the rest of the house, this master bedroom is clean and clutter free. Neutral tones, subtle eclectic accents. This alluring presentation is simple but essential. It's precisely the look we're hoping to achieve back at Shannon and Stuart's house. So what do you think of the powder blue? You know, I think it's quite nice. It does make it seem bigger. Yeah. The only thing is, there's no point really doing all these changes if we don't get people through the door. Yeah, and with the change of configuration, I think we want to get out of here before we get too comfortable. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Wow, 
Window boxes are a really great way to increase the curb appeal, and they don't cost very much money at all. One of the comments about this house was all this concrete out the front wasn't very appealing. This just really brightens it up and draws the eyes to the house instead of all this. Shannon and Stuart's house hasn't sold like other similar houses in the neighbourhood. I think it's because they've made the same mistake that many homeowners do. Yes, your house has to be lived in, but when you're selling, you should remove excess personal effects. Potential buyers have to imagine themselves living here, not you. I think the changes we've done will achieve that. Stuart and Shannon's muddled mudroom was a lost cause. With no junk, a comfy bench and a nice coat of paint, this mudroom hits it out of the park and has a nice view of the park. Now that's what I call maximum potential. This living room was actually in great shape, but you'd never know it. With daycare no longer in session, this great room really shines through. We've also thinned out the eclectic accents just a hair, which helped the space feel less cluttered. In the dining area, Stuart's messy office was sucking the life right out of this otherwise gorgeous room. We traded in a desk for a dining table and voila! Now this lovely and inviting dining room has great styling and the functionality that prospective buyers expect. Clean surfaces and decluttering have made a big difference in the kitchen. We've thinned out the antique furniture which makes the space feel more open. And we've turned Stuart's old office from baby room number two back into an office. Custom built desk is uniquely smart, something prospective buyers will appreciate. Jasmine's room was a little on the noisy side, so we cleaned things up to present a calming, soft blue design. Same goes for Oliver's room, where a muted green, new window dressings and reorganised layout have made a big difference. And in the master bedroom, neutral tones and restrained decor have created an inviting bedroom that's still stylish but with a more broad appeal. The bohemian lighting fixture is no more. And don't forget, always remove the TV set and clean, clean, clean before showings. I think the work we've done at Shannon and Stewart's house is going to have a huge impact on the market. And at a total cost of $3,800, I think it's money well spent. But it never hurts to put an extra effort into your home's marketing campaign. Make the most of your house's features. There is no point in having a fireplace if it remains hidden. Maximise your assets, don't hide them. Make your rooms distinctive so their particular function is obvious. The baby's gear should go in the baby's room. And if you need to turn your dining room into a study, make sure you hide the computer away before viewings. It's important for potential buyers to be able to imagine themselves in your home. So depersonalize, but only to a point. You don't want your house looking bland. A bit of personality is a good thing. I think it looks really nice. The entranceway, it's really a big impact. It looks gorgeous. And I like that they made some of our stuff work with the new decor. It still feels like very much like my house. It's just like a, a nicer version of it. <laughs> well, the open house is just around the corner. The transformation should generate reinterest and some offers for Shannon and Stuart. Sort of a rebirth, really. Let's wait and see. Well, this is the first room in the house, the right. sunroom. Nicely yes. done. Yeah. There's storage units there. Beautifully done. Here we've got the sitting room. This is very nice. Mm. It's a real sense of spaciousness, mm. eh? We, through here we've got the big dining room. I like it. it. Feels really airy and fresh. You've got two extra windows, which is quite nice. Here we've got the kitchen. Wow. It looks great. Mm. I really like the open concept. Absolutely. It's a small house, but there's really a sense, mm -hmm. uh, good sense of space. You've got quite a lot of storage for plates, cookbooks, whatever you want. You could have this as a family room or a dining room, but they've got it as a home office. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Mm -hmm. Nice big back window there, lots of light coming in. I mean, most yeah, Toronto cool. houses are, are long and narrow, lots of them, right? Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do is get lots of light in the front and the back. Yeah. Nice space here. The Each room, room has a good proportion, which is nice mm -hmm. for this size house. Nice. It's well proportional. Mm -hmm. So here we've got the guest bedroom. What I like most about this house is they've carried all the design features all the way through. Now, the master bedroom. Oh, wow, wait till you see this view. Well, it's fantastic. It's a good sized room, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Personal yeah, features are lovely in the house. Yeah. The colors. Is this the sort of house you would consider 
potentially purchasing? Yes, it is. It seems very, very well maintained. Have you seen a lot of other houses in the neighbourhood? Yes, we have, quite a few. And how do you think this compares? Well, I think it's beautifully put together. The detailing is really nice, all the moulding and trimming. It has a really nice flow from the front to the back. The big question is, will you be coming back for a second viewing? I certainly will. I love it. I love the old style. So as a mum, what's your opinion on the house? I think the space is right for them. The location's fantastic. I'm presuming you're going to come back for a second viewing. Definitely. It's absolutely a remarkable transformation. It's been updated and it's free of the clutter. Most of the people did not expect it to have this airiness to it and this openness to it. So I don't think we really could have done a better job. And I'm pretty positive that this place is going to go very soon. Well, that's that. We've decluttered, we've fluffed, and we've turned the attention from the baby to the beautiful house. Job done. We've turned this house from unsellable to sellable. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Good. This room looks huge. I know. Your office. Back room looks really like an inviting office. Very yeah. nice. They did a great job. Of it's day. very inviting. Yeah. The rooms upstairs, I really like the master bedroom, very pleasant. I think the overall impact's great. I'm glad we had the opportunity to have such a great send-off for this home, and it deserves it, because it's been great for us, and it'll be wonderful for someone else. After excavating and renovating Shannon and Stuart's delightful little house, interest levels increased significantly. Prospective buyers were able to truly experience this home's stunning potential and the household quickly. Now this growing family will finally be able to grow into a larger home. That, the director wants me to ask you if you're going to be sad to see the back of this house. God, babies are cool. I just want to hold Wow. Look at you and your box. Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? <laughs>